Tanner Jones, and he needs a bounce back start. He was roughed up at Florida last weekend. And on the first pitch here tonight, Tanner Jones, that's what he needed, comes back to strike out. Wow, back up the middle on a two-strike pitch. He reached out and really managed to get that back up the middle. It's a base hit. Braden Montgomery. That's a base hit to right field. Montgomery will come up firing toward home plate. Everybody's going to move up a bag. And Mississippi State has loaded the bases. 1-1. One, one. That's popped up, and that is shallow in left field. A run won't score on this. Holly Camarillo, the Aggie shortstop, will take care of it. So the north wind is with us here today. Swing and a miss by Aaron Downs. And Tanner Jones gets a big strikeout to strand the bases loaded with Bulldogs. Mississippi State threatens. Caught the inside corner. He backed Montgomery off the plate, and he painted the corner, and he struck him out looking. Trying to stay that way, and it's a fair ball down the line and right. Jackson Appel, seven for his last 13, and he's got a stand-up double to start the bottom of two. Teddy Burton, he's hit this hard. That's deep to right field, and on the track is Dakota Jordan. He'll make the catch. Jackson Appel tags, and he goes to third. Came inside on a full count pitch, and he walked him, and the Aggies will have runners at the corners right at your head coach. Well, he got him looking. Call strike three, and there's two down. Trying to return the favor. This was a golden opportunity for the Aggies. This frame, and A&M will cash in. Camarillo rips that to left field. Jackson Appel scores. Yeah, make note of that there. Because we're only in the second inning, but you got two strikes, two runners on. Excuse me, two outs, two runners on. And Ollie's able to step up and get the fastball that he wants. It's on the inside part of the play. He stays super short. All you young hitters, you see how short he is there. He's able to get that head out and shoot it into left field for an RBI. Texas A&M up 1-0. Caden Kent started off with a strike from Cal Steven. Now he goes the opposite way into left. Aaron Downs tracking it into foul territory, and he will make the catch as he crosses on to the track. Without a doubt. That's off the very end of the bat, and that will be no play at all for... Hard hit by Connor Hyzak, and that is into left field, and there's a couple on with two out in the top of the third. The Bulldogs trying to roll with two. Friday night start. And he's got him to lift this over the infield. Gavin Grohovac on the run coming in. He will make the catch, and Mississippi State, and he earned the nickname Teddy Two Bags when he was doing that. And you want to see him hit a lot of doubles here just because that's such a cool nickname. Now they give it back to Cal Steven. And that's off the bat of Hank Bard. They get one out. They're trying to get two. Not in time to get Bard running. That'll be a force out. Well, that's the second time he's hit Amani Larry. Ground ball, base hit into right field, and two Bulldogs aboard to start the top of the fifth. And Hunter Hines has tagged that deep to right field, and he has put the Bulldogs in the lead, three to one. He stays hot. It's his fifth home run, essentially, this week. Three to one, Mississippi State leads. Yeah, and again, when you have that left-on-left -left matchup, I mean, credit Hines there. He does a great job of staying back and really driving the ball to right field. But sometimes just uh, when you face a lefty, you don't try to do too much. And that's exactly what Hunter did here. He had some sort of a, a little cut action on that ball. And you see him stay back with his weight on his back foot, and he just has trajectory. The launch angle is awesome on that. Nice job of hitting there by Hines. And you're right, Will. He has been hot in this inning for the Aggies. Looped into left field, base hit off the bat of Connor Hyzak. 
And that's into center field. That's a base hit. Play at third base. Throw by Jace Laviolette. Sliding in safely is Connor Isaac. And the Bulldogs are looking for more. Does with the bat. It, it hurts you. you double play ball potentially here. Going to get a tag out, and he dropped the ball. You could have gotten a tag out and a throw to first, possibly to end the inning. Instead, nobody is out. Another run will score, and it's two more Bulldogs in scoring position. That is down the line. That's a long run for Braden Montgomery. That will score another run, 5-1. to one. Mississippi State as Aaron Downs comes home on the fly out to right by Bryce Chance. This is at Caden Kent. That will end the inning, but nine Bulldogs come to the plate. Call strike three. Grahovac thought he had drawn a walk. Well, they had the shift on, so this is a long run for everybody. Sliding onto the track. David Mershon with those locks flowing behind him. I've seen it land fair before. <laughs> David Mershon, after a terrific play to close the fifth, rings a single to center field here in the sixth. He's two for four. But it was still on the inner part of the plate. Grohovac got a late jump on it, but that is heading to the outfield in foul territory and it'll be shot. Well, he did come in, but too far up and in. He's seven for his last 14. But that looks like it could end the inning. Or excuse me, the first two outs of the inning. Well, he draws a walk, two walks this inning, but the double play ball erased one of those. On defense, when that happens, though, it's very positive for sure. Another well hit ball. Liner right at David Mershon, and that will end the inning. It's lost yesterday to Michigan State in the first round. And Weston Moss strikes out Aaron Down. Really has command of his stuff now. Center field and Jace Laviolette. How his off speed would do tonight, but he's done just enough in that area. That's his fourth strikeout. Ali Camarillo has his second hit of the night. Camarillo drove in the only run of the game for AM in the second inning. Hard cut, came up empty. Breaking ball got him swinging. Doesn't even care about scoring. He's just going to pound the glass see a bigger roll on the back end of this. But that's a base hit through the left side, and now Moss is going to have to deal with two Bulldogs aboard with nobody out. That's out in front of home plate, and the runners will move up. He poses challenge for the hitters. You see it there as he gets a punch out on the slider. They'll put him on. If Isaac beats you, you'll live with it. You just don't want Hines beating you. Isaac two for four in this game, but he skied this toward Jace Laviolette, and that'll end the inning. In the fifth, and Appel to center field, waiting on it. Come back and pitch well for three or four innings after that. Draws a walk here. Ended the inning with A&M trailing three to one. That'll get into center field. Off the bat of Johnny Long. And there it was. Absolutely, and a swing and a miss by Amani Larry. A base here for sure. And there you Upstairs go. Upstairs, and he walked him. Same day. That's lifted to left. Under it is Aaron Downs. That's an out. Call strike three. Got him looking. That'll do it. He got him looking on the inside corner, and Taylor Davis, or excuse me, Tyler Davis, shuts it down for the Bulldogs, and Mississippi State evens this series with a 5-1 to one win.